Listen, you're kind of new in this neighborhood, so I'm gonna wise you up. I'm Muggs McGinnis, the leader of this gang. Now, if you want to take any of the boys out, you gotta have them in by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And no smoking, drinking, or hopscotch, because we're all in training. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to the fellas in their physical order. This is Danny, my left-hand man. How do you do? This is Glimpy, my right-hand man. Hello, Matilda. Peewee, my yes man. Hi. And Skinny, my no man. Hi. And last but not least is Scruno. He's our blackout warden. Hi. Now you met them all and you can do one if you... Hey! Hey, you kids, get out of here! Hey! Glam trouble! See you later. Oh, wait, take that sneaker here and take that speedery if you Hello! Now, I wonder how that could have happened. I don't know, but they can't blame us for it. But we was here. That's circumstantial evidence. Well, let's dig. All right, let's get out of here. Zoot, too. Here, hey, stop. <laughs> stop, stop. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. Uh-oh. What do we do now? Sing Mammy, that'll stop us. Take it easy, mother. Don't aggravate your rumors. Good morning, officer. What's new? Next on that. What's your hurry? We're just getting our exercise. Taking our girls for a walk. I was just taking my mother to the races. Why did you break that window? Open the front window. Quiet, mother. Then why were you running? We always get blamed, so we run. There ain't no law against running, unless you're a politician. You kids are always doing something. If it ain't one thing, it's another. You're just a bunch of hoodlums. <laughs> Is that a nice way to talk in front of a poor, discreptic lady? Don't let it get you, Clarice. Coppers ain't got no manners. I got a good mind to have your badge confiscated. Mm. Come on, wise guy. Oh, get that stuff off. Uh, I Come on. Hey, officer. Oh, hey, officer. Hey, officer. Would you unhook me? Stop. Come on, let's go. You can't arrest us without a corpus delicious. One of my lawyer heads about this is going to be a big shake-up around here. Yeah, yeah my boss is going to hold you guys. You mean we gotta walk? Where's the patrol wagon? Yeah, like that. All right, Baker. Which one of these boys broke your window? They didn't break it. I broke it myself. Every time I get in there, I break something. Ain't I the clumsiest thing? Huh? Well, ain't that too bad. <laughs> now you don't get your promotion. Why don't you guys think of something else to do besides make us miserable? Sabotage. What chance does a little guy got against a corporation? <laughs> hey, there goes our taxi. Okay, if you four guys will excuse us. Who pumps you up? <laughs> Hurry up, Come on, Colonel. I couldn't run no faster. This truck was full of watermelons. You'll be picking watermelons for the next five Come years on. if you don't hurry up. And if you hurry up, I'll give you a million dollars. Hey, you kids, get off the truck. Save it for the finance company. Who's hiding your old bus? If you don't get off, I'll bring you. Ah, uh, shut up. The pedestrian has the right of way. He talks like he owns this thing. Yeah, sorry. Hey, don't go so fast. I got a nervous stomach. <laughs> Get off that truck, hey, will you? Yeah, what a terrible taxi. No radio. Uh, listen, come on. Get off of here. Hey, Shorty, when you back up about two blocks, you pass my office. Yeah, what are you talking about? Get out of here. Come on. Here, here. Come on. Get it. Hey, let this dog alone. I've been running, man. I'm going to run some more. Oh, you right now. <laughs> hey, Bell. Hiya, Danny. Remember me? I'm your brother. What are you doing down here? This letter came for you, so I brought it down. Thanks. It's from the government. My grandfather got a letter from the government once. What was it? An invitation to Sing Sing? Alcatraz. <laughs> well, kid, looks like your brother's in the army. Oh, that's swell, Bill. <laughs> Private Phil Collins reporting. Come in! It's a siren on Blackwell's Island. Somebody busted loose. Most likely a false alarm. Let's take a look. I'll see you later, Bill. Oh, I'll see you later. Come on. Hey, what do you see? Seagulls. 
Hey. Oh, hi, guys. Got any clues? No, you guys got any? No, I think it's a false alarm, just like Bill said. Boy, if I could nab this convict, I'd graduate from my detective correspondence course with honors. It's better to graduate with good marks. Hey, here's a guilty-looking personality. Let's go over and get a confession. But don't break no bones. Come on. Hey, you the guy that escaped from the island? Hey, right, go on, beat it, scram, you guys. It's a show for. Hiya, 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 Go on, get away from here, will you? Ah, get out of town, the streets are free. Sure, we're private detectives. We're from the Prince Agency. If you have my uncle, three degree points. Well, you must have heard of Charlie Chan. This is a stable mate, Charlie Horse. Ah, uh, Charlie. Hi, Horse. Take his picture and send it to the funny paper. I got a better idea. I'll send it to Ripley. I bet he won't believe it. Yes, you would. Hey, give me that camera. Now, what, are you looking for? what are you looking for, a match? I got a match right here. Don't go away. Don't. I'm not going no place here. Here's a match. You got a match, haven't you? Hey, he's got a match. Oh, don't shoot. That ain't a rod. That's a gun. Is it loaded? Sure, it's loaded. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, hey, you got oh, give me that. Do you want to get hurt? Oh. Hey, the cops. Let's cram. Hey, where you going? I don't think he likes cops. Hey, listen. Make sure you're working here. See, do something. Jump on that truck. Move those back. Come on, the box. Come on, come on, get him up there. What are you kids doing in that truck? Eh, yeah, we're just upright citizens trying to make an honest dollar. After all, we got wives and babies to support. Cut out the wisecracks. Seen you kids before, haven't I? Maybe it was at the races. Or was it Pam Beach? It was juvenile court. Don't tell me you were in trouble, officer. Get down out of there. Marty, can't blame a guy for trying to fill up a social security fund. We don't want to mooch on a city like you. Let me see your driver's, driver's license. Driver's license, I know. You just want to prove that you can read. There you are. On the other side's a very nice picture of my Aunt Sue. Skinny old thing, isn't she? Is there anything else I can do for you, officer? No, Mr. Wise Guy. Well, uh, you sure you wouldn't want to search the truck, look in one of the barrels, and see if that lug from Blackwell's Island ain't in one of them? Yeah, maybe he's learned to swim in wine. What I call wasting the taxpayers' money. Goodbye now. I'm glad they're going. Heads up. Hey, look. Look. Money in the making. Oh, that'll be a pleasant change. Being broke is getting monotonous. All right, Luke. Yeah, I'll make it snappy. Hey, how about a little help from the All-American Longshoremen's Association? Got some good men here. Go on, scram. Hey, Nobby. You looking for the guy that's driving that truck? Yeah, did you see him? Uh, he left when the cops came. Cops? Sure. By the way he took off, you think he was the guy that escaped from Blackwell's Island? He had a rod. Hey, have you ever been fingerprinted? Go on, beat it. I don't know, but it looks to me like you'll need a little help with that barrel. A little large for you, isn't it? Sure, I come from a long line of wine barrels. He means barrel. Okay, okay. Help me get this on a truck. Come on, easy now. Come on, take it easy. Come on, take it easy. Get it right out of the car. Get it on. Don't get it on there. Get it up there. Don't injure yourself, boys. Don't injure yourself. All right, boys, don't say you'll injure this. Hey, hey, grab it. Oh, you give up? Come on, give me a hand, will you? All right, boys, give me a hand. <laughs> yeah. You just didn't appreciate how useless we was. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey how about a little gratuity here? Yeah, you for how about a little compensation? Oh, Come on, six pieces, hey. please. All right, that's, that's a little better. What? You bitch. We've been laboring in a delusion. You ain't just... Hey, ain't you gonna wait for your chance? Can you spare it? Spendthrift to this. Hmm. Hey, that's two packs of cigarettes. Hey! Hey, Mark. What if we do find this Luke Manning's body? What do we do with it? Throw it back to the fish. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Glimpy? He can't swim. I don't know. He was around a minute ago. Oh, gosh, what if he's drowned? Who's going to tell his mother? 
Oh, he's an Orpheum. Orpheum, that's the name of a theater. Orpheum. Hey, fellas, look. Get an education. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Who, me, officer? <laughs> I'm just getting a bit of a suntan, that's all. Where are your pals? Oh, I don't know where they are. Are all these your clothes? Yes, sir. Seven changes, one for every day in the week. Hey, you kids, come on out. Well, what's eating you? Come on down. The water's fine for drowning. I don't want any trouble from you, kids, so you better hop on up here. Yeah, we're coming. What do you want? What's the trouble? Well, you're going for a ride. Go for oh, a ride? Stop me on the sunny side, will you? Okay, How about you're the going to headquarters. Get on your clothes. So you'll be leaving for the Army soon, eh, Bill? Yeah. I'm taking my physical next week. I'm sorry to see you leave, Bill. What are you going to do about that kid brother of yours? That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Mullins. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, with my gun in the army, Danny's going to be on his own. But I don't want him running around the streets. I know what that leads to. Juvenile court and reform school. I saw enough of that kind of stuff when I was at the Wilton School for Boys. Yeah, so you once told me. Say, Bill, why did you quit that job? I didn't like the way they handled kids. That's why I've always done everything I could for Danny. So as he wouldn't have to see the inside of that or any reform school. Yeah, and you've done a good job of it, son. Thanks. The only thing that'll help Danny's a real job. Now, I was wondering if you could... If I could put him to work, huh? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Mullins. Well, he's a big, strong kid. He could do this job easy. Well, bring him around this afternoon. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that's swell, boss. You won't be sorry. Hey, Bill. Bill, the cops are arresting Danny and the gang. Arresting Danny? Yeah. Where is he? Over there. Let's go. Get away from this bedhouse, will you? It's private. You know, I think you're framing us. Go on, Scram. You've got to please. Come on, get your clothes on. I'm going to get the D.A. I'm going to get the D.A.'s brother. What's wrong, coming. officer? Who are you? I'm this kid's brother. Well, they stole the truck from McCary Street, and there's no mistake about it, because they caught him red-handed. Stole a truck? Look, Mr. Wise Guy, maybe you'll deny you weren't in the front seat of that truck. Yeah, the battery's dead. And maybe you'll say that you didn't tell me that you were working for the company. Oh, you've got to tell a little white lie once in a while. Danny, is this true? Yeah, but we was only kidding. You were, were you? Well, this warrant isn't a joke, so come along, Keith. Okay, but you'll be sorry you humiliated me in front of my friends. You know, life is going to be a lot of Dormitory 3, workhouse. Well, that means I do what, boss? You'll find out, and don't call me boss. Address me as mister. Okay, Mr. Boss. Ethelbert McGinnis. Ethelbert McGinnis! Ethelbert? Can you imagine a guy with a moniker like that? Which one of you is Ethelbert McGinnis? We got a McGinnis, but no Ethelbert. Oh, yes, you have. Now, which one of you is it? Uh, I'm Ethel Burke. You? No, I'm completely disillusioned. So you're Ethel Burke McGinnis. Just kind of a name, you know. It's been the family for a long time. Uh, you might call it a skeleton in a family closet make me very happy if we just kind of left it there and forgot about it. All right, Ethelbert. I wouldn't use that name if I was you. It's because my father made a mistake. I mean, you have to do the same thing. Oh, a little wise guy, eh? Wise guy. That's it. 
Call me Mr. Wise Guy. All right. Now, Mr. Wise Guy, what kind of work have you ever done? Work? Yeah. Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah work. I'm not familiar with the work. Oh. Well, we'll fix that. I was uh, afraid you would. Come in. Can I do something for you? Why, yes. My name is Bill Collins. Danny Collins is my brother. Collins. Collins. Oh, yes, the wine truck case. They were just admitted. That's right. You think I could see Danny? I'll see. Won't you come this way, please? Say, this place looks much better. Then you've been here before. Yeah, I was a guard for a year and a half. How interesting. Sure. If you like to see kids kicked around and starved. Oh, but you really don't know, Wilton. Lady, I know plenty that isn't good about this place. Things have changed, as you've already noticed. We're here to help the boys, not to hurt them. Sorry if I blew up, miss. But I learned to hate the Wilton Reformatory. I understand. All right, that's all. So Jed Mill is still a guard here. Yeah, things have changed all right. What are you trying to do, miss? Sell me a bill of goods? Daniel Collins. Yes, sir. Maybe you'll remember my brother. He used to work here. Is that so? You must be Bill Collins' brother. That's me. Hoodlums must run in your family. What do you think you're calling names? All right, I apologize. Okay. Lay off. Oh, Take it easy. Just a moment now. What's the trouble here? What's the trouble, Miller? Be careful of him, Mr. Barnes. He's liable to attack you the way he did me. I know him. His name is Bill Collins. He's that hoodlum's brother. Mr. Barnes, I can explain. Mr. Collins once worked here. He was only... Never mind explaining, lady. I can do that. I didn't come here to start a rumpus, but I don't like to see any kid get smacked around. Ah, uh, smacking around is too good for him. That's entirely unnecessary, Miller. And as long as I'm superintendent of this institution, no boy is to be struck. Well, you gotta make him respect authority, don't you? There are even limitations to authority. I hope I make myself clear. Yes, sir. Mr. Collins, Miss Mitchell, would you please come with me? Don't worry, kid. There's a guy that's gonna be all right. Yeah, maybe things won't be so bad after all. I won't forget this in a hurry, and neither will you. All right, my memory ain't so bad either. Mr. Collins, Jim Barnes is my name. How do you do? And Mitchell is mine. Mr. Collins, I'm afraid you never knew it. But your testimony and your written resignation was indirectly responsible for a new order here at Wilton. No, I didn't know that. I guess I was in too much of a hurry to get away. Well, how would you like to take a look around the place now? I'd like it very much. I'm sure Miss Mitchell here wouldn't object to being your guide, would you, Ann? I'd be delighted. Gee, thanks a lot. We'll begin. You didn't have one of those when I was here. I told you, things have changed. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, if I wasn't going in the Army, I wouldn't mind getting my old job back. I'm sure Mr. Barnes would like to have you. In fact, I wouldn't even mind getting sent to reform school. That is, if the uh, other half is anything like you. There's always the guardhouse in the Army. Say, that gives me an idea. I'm taking my physical tomorrow, and I need some more weight if I expect to make the grade. Now, how's it about you helping me to uh, put on a few pounds by having dinner with me tonight? Huh? Oh, please, for Uncle Sam. All right. But remember, it's only for Uncle Sam. The Army will never forget this. the man is willing, say yes. If he's unwilling, say yes anyway. <laughs> it's one for the book. Okay, let's get going. Hey, stupid. Hey, call me, boys. All I told you to lay off that bourbon. To draw, well, I'm not, I'm not drinking any bourbon. Just a bromo seltzer, that's all. I... Never mind. I get this straight. Give me ten minutes, see? And keep the motor going. Okay. Be ready if I need you. And remember what I said about the bourbon. 
No, I wouldn't treat you. I don't know when I've laughed so much. I never knew the Wilton Reformatory could give me anything to laugh about. I'm glad, Bill. Maybe your fortune's changing. It is. You know, I can even look into the future of Private Bill Collins. I never cared very much what was going to happen to him after national defense. But I do now. I like you, Private Collins. I like your brother Danny, too. Danny's a good kid. In fact, if there were ten of you Collins boys, I'm afraid I'd like every one of you. Now, you're the one who's fickle. I have a weakness for uniforms. Good night, Bill. Thanks for a lovely evening. Oh, good night, Anne. or you're a dead pigeon. That's how it happened. I had already taken Miss Mitchell home. I was out of cigarettes, so I stopped to buy some. You were not out. This half-filled package of cigarettes was found in your car. Explain that. I don't know anything about it. It wasn't mine. Besides, I don't open my package that way. That don't cut no ice. Green, the drug clerk, positively identifies you as one of the bandits. I didn't do it. And my word's as good as his. Colin, it's pretty simple what you did. You went ahead of your pals to see if the coast was clear. You bought a package of cigarettes for a stall. Then you stood guard at the door while the other shot and killed the drug clerk. I did not. I didn't do it. It's not true. Come on, Collins. Now, who were your pals? Now, you're not going to let them go free, and you take this rap alone. Don't be a fool. Give us a lead, and I'll see you get off easy. I promise. Bill, are you all right? Yeah. Why don't you question him when he's not ill? Lady, this is murder. But can't you see that he's weak? Come on, Collins. Now, the fact remains you were driving the car in which one of the bandits made his getaway. What else could I do with a gun in my back? Do you think a man about to go in the army would commit a murder? Why, he was to take his physical today. Lady, if you're trying to use Uncle Sam as an alibi, save your breath. Facts are facts. I'm not trying to use Uncle Sam for an alibi. Oh, this is all crazy. I'm innocent, I tell you. If you can prove that, Collins, you haven't anything to worry about. How do you like this? Whoever thought I'd become a chambermaid to a bunch of chickens? <laughs> I always did want to be interior decorator. What a beautiful piece of muslin. Oh, oh. it's just been imported. It's got a regular 
English droop to it. Yeah, that really looks good, but that chest is too full. Well, yeah, well, there's about two and a half inches for the chest. What are you doing yeah, to my suit? What's that, the matter with you? Oh, those shoulders droop. Shoulders? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. That's that's what about five and a half inches right there. That's we'll make it real good. No. We'll make oh, it look at that seat. It's all wrong. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right there. What are you doing? There, that's one more mark on this suit, and I'll kick your back fence in. See that? You lack the appreciation for the finer things in life. Why, it's a man's physical appearance that means everything in the end. If you don't dig mighty quick, your physical appearance is going to change oh, what into a the... god. Right, 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 right. <laughs> physical. Hey, by the way, wasn't your brother supposed to take his physical today? Yeah, I wonder how he came out. Hey, look what I found that chicken's nest, the egg. Yeah, quite a discoverer. You should be with Columbus. He's dead. That's what I said. What did you expect to find in that chicken nest? Croquettes? Hey, I wonder if there's a chicken in here. Let me see and I'll tell you. That'll take a little scientific research. A chicken? Why, there's quintuplets in there. Yeah, let me see. How do you do it? Hold it up to the sun and put it right on your eye. That, right up there, that, like that. That's it. What are you, a wise guy or something? <laughs> Mr. Wise Guy, remember? Here, go get yourself a union card. Oh, what's up, Tank? What's the matter with you? Did you hear on Michelangelo? He started off painting chicken coops. Who's he? Him? Why, well, he was a portrait painter. He used to paint men and women. Ah, that's nothing. I got an Uncle Louie. He did the exact same thing last year at the beach. He painted men on one door and women on the other. Let him have it. Oh, you're hey, Martin! Well, look who's here. Hiya, gang. Hi, Pee-wee. Where well, you been around? We ain't seen you. I've been working in the office. Sort of an office boy. Not bad, huh? Yeah. If that's the case, you ought to be able to find out something I want to know. What do you mean? Who's running this emporium? I don't get you. Oh, you know, there's always a couple of guys that deal the cards around. Oh, they got a couple like that here. What's their names? Rice Pudding Charlie and Chalky Jones. But they've been here a long time. That's fine. I'll have to meet those two boys. Yeah, you won't have to meet them. They'll look you up. Oh, they will, Will. That's sure. very belligerent. So that's the new gang that moved in, huh? Well, there's nothing like getting acquainted. Yeah, things are kind of dead around her since Barnes took over. I hear that Chalky Jones and Rice Pudding Charlie had things pretty much themselves under the old superintendent. Yeah? But they only got one connection now. Who? That guard Miller. Miller, huh? There's a guy who should get himself a new job, breaking in guillotine. Yeah, but Chalky and Charlie are in strong with him. They cutting up anything? Yeah, they work in a commissary. That sounds like a soft touch to me. Best job in here. I told you they'd look you up. Faces don't look so good to me. Let's do some surgery. Bring the plastic, boys. I be right with you, fellas, but I remember I got to get these eggs, and I don't mean scrambled either. Mmm, wow. Deliver me from temptation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one of you guys is named Ethelboy? Yeah, <laughs> me. The what? Hey, hey, you couldn't fight your way out of a beauty parlor. You ought to try fighting your way into one and get that kisser fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Who goes by the name of Collins here? I do. What's it to you? Got a little present for you. You're the new paper boy, huh? Read him and weep, kid. <laughs> that was very considerate of you. You really owe me something now, don't you? Then you're gonna get it. Hey, God, God, stop me! Hold him, boys. Let go of me, you rat. I'll mind you when I get oh, out of here. Oh, fellas, you got some in his eye. That's not very nice, and you got it all over his nose and mouth. I don't think that's the least bit nice. I don't think so. Now, if you put a little like that... Oh, don't <laughs> let it drip down there. God! 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 Come on, huh? Come on, huh? to put some like that. I'll fix you. Honey boy, get out of here. Honey boy, I'm giving you the brush. Well, I'm not getting out. Ah, heck, get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, is that murder? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh.
Chucky? Yes, ain't so bad. Yeah? It's better than the rope or the chair. I read in a book once how they get the days a week before they go. Can't you guys talk about anything else? Hey, that was an accident. That was an accident. No kidding, no kidding. I wanted to hit you where you wasn't looking. I didn't mean that. I swear I didn't mean it. Now shut your traps and go to bed. Hand me that hat. Come on, get to bed. You shouldn't get in trouble over me. I can take care of it. Yeah, yeah, no. Look, blood. Pleasant dreams, wise guy. Enjoy yourself. If I was you, I'd call up and order two wheelchairs while I was still able. You may not know it, bud, but you just struck out. Take the field. Oh, come on. Show that ball and take that glove. Let's go, a little activity here. You mean to say he didn't appreciate your tipping him off? Just like me throwing a pitcher of ice water down his back. I lose my recreation for two weeks on top of that. What? Yeah. You don't like the idea of nobody snitching. And, uh, what happens to Mr. Wise Guy? Nothing. Strike! Right! Did you ever try seeing an optometrist? I never had trouble with my feet. Yeah, I never had trouble with your feet. What is an optometrist? An optometrist? An optometrist? That's a... that's a... Throw the ball, you're holding up the gate! What's the matter with you? Hey, get some water, somebody! Who's done it? How many was there? That's all I want to know. You all right? It was an accident. But who's done the accident? Could have been the boys that kind of take this summer. Huh? Yeah. What do you think my head is, a carnival target? Could be the missing link. Wait a minute, let me have him. All right, wait a minute. This is all mine, boys. All mine. Come on, Charlie. That old boy. What's the matter? Having trouble, Charlie? Nothing I can't take care of, sir. Come on, you'll get back in here. Give it up, Charlie. That old boy. Come on, break it up. What's the matter? All this fight when my back is turned. This guy's always fighting. So you stand by and referee a fight. Look, Miller, when I took over this institution, I was determined to clean it up. There was one rat hole, though, I've had trouble in plugging, and now I'm going to stuff you into it. You can't hang nothing on me, Barnes. You've done your own hanging. I'll expect your resignation on my desk within one hour. Come on, boys, get in there. It's all right? Yeah, sure, sure. He must have sneaked up on me. Meanwhile, the date of Collins' execution was set for the 17th. Very interesting. 
You know, I hate to see that fellow Collins go. He's probably a nice fellow, the poor sap. Call me, boys. Where are those bourbons? Coming right up. Yeah, boys. You know, the fellow that should get the chair is Drattler. That ain't nice, boss. Even Kit. I suppose you're as kidding the night you left me flat. I should have plugged you then. Yeah, that's right, boss. You should have plugged him. What do you mean, plug me? Well, I mean, he should have plugged me. You should have plugged... Who started ah, go this? Go away, go away. Go on, Dorothy, read some more. Um, winners for the Canadian National Sweepstakes were announced late yesterday evening. Hey, I got one of them tickets. Go on, read the winners. Here it is. Oh, that's one of them racehorse tickets. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, but you can't collect. They'll grab you the minute they spot you. That's right. I'm drowned. Then you, Rattler, you take it and make believe it's your ticket. Not me. I'm in the same boat. I don't like them reporters and cameramen. I don't look good in pictures. Well, maybe I guess you're elected. Well, I didn't run for nothing. Oh, you, you want me to collect the five grand? That's right. For me, not for you. Get it? I get it. You get it. I don't get it. Uh, Do you think it's safe to trust and I'll be with all that money? Well, what else can I do? I can go with him. That's not a bad idea. Go ahead. And don't let Nobby out of your sight, my little one. Don't worry. What makes you think the money would be safe with her? What makes you think it wouldn't? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, keep your yap shut. Doctor ordered. Too bad I can't take you on a tour of this place. But I can tell you how swell you are. You're pretty swell yourself. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go out in a blaze of glory. You know, like Sir Lancelot, wearing Lady Guinevere's scarf on my arm. You haven't got an extra scarf handy, have you? No, please. Why, I'm studying cookbooks so I can fasten you up to become a major general with double chins and double stomachs. You make it all seem so real. It will be real. If the man is willing, remember? Time's up. That's a date, kid. Are you nervous and run down? Do you suffer from lack of vitamins? Here is a letter received from one of our listeners. Quote, Dear Mr. Arno, A month ago I was nervous. I chewed my fingernails. Jumped when I saw a mouse. Then I started taking Arno's tablet. And you should see me now. Fit as a fiddle and ready for conscription. Signed, Glimpy Stone. Hey, fellas, that's me. I'm the author. Oh, take it away. Oh. Fit as a fiddle and ready for conscription. You can't even spell conscription. Yeah, someday I'm going to be a writer. What are you going to do, write other people's names on checks? And now back to the newsroom. Governor Walker today denied a reprieve to Bill Collins, convicted on first-degree murder charge. His execution has been set for... Hey, let's go see some pictures. Mr. Fon's got some swell new pictures. He says we can see them if we want to. Yeah, come on, Dan. Hey, you gin rummy players. You want to see some new pictures? All right. Hey, 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 hey. What's this? What's, go, what's this all about? Well, Mr. Fon's got some new pictures. He says we can see them if we want to. Well, ask him in a nice way and you can have them. Oh, yes, my good man. Is it being too permissible if we young ones in quest to peruse the cinema? Sure. Cinema? Why, certainly, cinema. Didn't you ever have cinema on your toast in the morning? Put in your collar. <laughs> I never had it. <laughs> oh, did you ever have a oh. That guy should go back to grammatic school. He's really bad. Thank you. Sit up there, I need a seat. All right, stop the show. Come on, it's a swell picture. I hope. <laughs> They're not going to give Bill a reprieve. They're going to kill him. Eh, what are you talking about? That announcer on the radio was bugged. Listen, I knew a fella one time, he got a reprieve two minutes before they pulled the switch.
Clark dealt fifty thousand dollars to the winners of the Canadian National Sweepstakes, and here is one of the winners now. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the pride of the Bowery, who is now five thousand dollars richer than he was a moment ago. Well, if it ain't Nobby, the lucky stiff. There you are, sir, and congratulations. Thanks. This is a big blow to me, and I mean, this is a lucky. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, what do you plan doing with all this money? Well, I'm going to give it to the. I, I, I mean, I'm. I, uh, uh, I'm going to. I suppose you'll buy your mother hey, a washing machine. There's our chauffeur. Can't wash the no guy machine. from the truck. She has stuff enough time with the laundry. Then I'm going to get my brother in law a saloon. We've been needing one of those things for years. Listen, the same old lobby. Yeah. Well, what about yourself? What's going to be your treat? Well, I'll take a scotch and soda. I, no, you. <laughs> you mean, what am I. Well, I don't, I don't need nothing. See, I'm, I got a job. What sort of work do you do? What am I doing? The, oh the guy goodness. stole a truck. I mean, I, uh, Mom, I'm a private secretary. Did you see him open that pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, why? He opened that pack the same way the pack was open. He found in Bill's car. Remember Ann telling us? You mean you think he might... It's an angle. I suppose that's a little lady. Dorothy? Oh, no. Dorothy's more like a mother to me. What do you want? Hey, Charlie. I mean... Did you say you knew that guy that won the dough? That's it to you. Look, Charlie, I didn't come here to argue. Just tell me one thing. Did you know him? Yeah, I know him. So what? It means my brother's life, that's what. My brother's life? What is this, a gag? Look, Charlie, this is no gag. It's for real. Ah, oh, my oh, God. God. Do me one favor. Just do me one favor. Come outside where we can talk. know about the guy that won the sweepstakes. Nobby? Yeah. He used to be my uncle's mob. Uncle? Yeah, Luke Manning. You read about him. Luke Manning? You mean the guy that busted out of Blackwell's Island? That's right. He got drowned on the way out, too. He got drowned, huh? I wonder. What do you mean? Listen, if Nobby stole that truck, why'd he bring it down the waterfront? Yeah, that's right. You mean that... I mean that maybe Luke Manning ain't dead. Remember when we went to move that barrel, how funny the guy acted? Yeah. Maybe that barrel wasn't full of wine. Maybe it was Luke Manning in there. I think you got something. And I think you're both daffy. Like we get in touch with this knobby. I don't... Wait a minute, I can give you a lead. Dorothy Melton. Who's she? The dame in the newsreel that took the check from Nobby, remember? Well, she used to be Luke's girl, but I guess Nobby's giving her a rush now. Well, where does she live? She lives at the Carlton Apartments on 3rd Avenue. I had to deliver notes to her from Luke. Danny, looks like we got a date with Dorothy tonight. We can't break out of here. The boss has been too nice. No, but we can tell him everything. Now that we got proof that we didn't swipe that truck. We ain't got enough proof. We're going out and get it, and then we'll talk to Bond. Hey, what do I come in for giving you all this info, huh? Well, you want to get out of here, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to take you with us. You mean it? Gee, thanks a lot, Ethel Blake. Wait there a minute. I'll be right back. Come on, fellas. Shut up. We're not waiting till tonight. We're going right now. Good. You know the way. Take the fellas. I'll see you in a few minutes. Come on. That's old boy, huh? Now, Charlie, I'm going to show you my ingratitude. You mean you got a surprise for me? I got a beautiful surprise. Hey! Hey! Tell Mr. Barnes about that. Just what to do when she comes? Hey, yeah. I think she's coming. Stop that light. Say, this is a swell car. I wonder who owns it. 
Look, honey, I think you better wait here. I don't think Luke is going to like this. Oh, Luke Manning, he should have drowned when he beat it out of Blackwell's Island. Yeah, but he didn't. When he finds out that I'm running away with you and his five grand... There's only four grand now. Hey, don't. Get away. Get away from me. Maybe if we give it back to him quick, he won't notice the grand's missing. Look, honey, don't be a fool all of your life. We've got four grand. We've got two airplane tickets. By the time Luke finds out, we'll be miles away. Maybe you're right, Dorsey. Uh, <laughs> no, don't cut it. I'll leave that alone. I'm ticklish. Cut it out. No, 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 never. No, I won't. I won't. I'll only be a minute. Take it easy, lady. What are you doing here? I'm a PLW. You're off what? I protect lonely women. Aren't you just a little young to be out without your mother? I ain't got a mother. Well, if you came up here to adopt one, you came to the wrong place. Beat it. Wait a minute. I'm a friend of Nobby. Well, that's... You're what? Nobby, you know. Come on, kid, what's the gag? That's what we came up here to find out. What's this all about? Listen, sister, let's begin at the beginning. If you kids don't beat it, I'm going to call a cop. Now look, babe. Well, what's the matter? Did you forget the number? You don't want to tangle with the police any more than we do. Take that. What's your boyfriend? What are you talking about? Your boyfriend, Luke. We want to see him. Right. You don't have to worry. We ain't going to hurt you or your place. We're a gentleman from the old school. He means reform school. Reform school? Yeah, that's right. We're friends of Luke Manning's nephew, Charlie. Rice pudding, Charlie. I don't know what you're talking about. Charlie told us if we came up here as Uncle Luke or Nobby would help us out. Charlie's our pal. Ow! Hello. Hello. Hello, fellas. Say, Dorothy, I've been thinking it's... Say, what is this? Uh, give me that book. Where's... Give me you looking for this? Yeah, put it at these kids. Hey, you can't do that to me. That's my gun. I'm doing it, ain't I? Is he? Gee, I didn't know you had company. Well, these kids broke into here. They said they wanted to see you or Luke. Say, seems like I've seen these kids before someplace. Yeah, you was running away from the cops. I see you got your wind back. Yeah, I got away. Too. What happened? Now, say, what's the matter with you? What are you doing here? This is no time to break into a woman's room, 5 o'clock in the morning. What do you mean by keeping her out till 5 o'clock in the morning? Well, it was nothing. I was, we was out shot. I, I could have... Uh, say, it's none of your business, you hear? What are you doing here, huh? I don't like the looks of this. Why don't you throw them out, Nobby? Yeah, I'm going to throw them out. They know too much. So do the quiz kids. Well, then I'll throw them out, too. Yeah? Yeah. You ain't on no place, buddy. Ah, uh, that thing ain't loaded. <laughs> they ain't loaded? No. Look, see, I took the bullet charge. I... Yeah, I forgot I loaded it. Now. Yeah. So what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, he's coming to you. I made him a set. Yeah, right now. Uh oh, I ain't coming no more. I want to see I want to see him. I want one of these. Here, here. Let me do one. No, I don't want an egg. I want a lock. Come on, get up out of there. This is no picnic. Now sit on over there. Go ahead. All right, come on, let's hear your story. The one about Goldilocks? Say, how do you do that? I would take a load off your feet. And start talking and no fooling. What's the point? Turn the lights off. What'd you let me sleep for? Get on that phone again. Here, I called a couple of times already. Nobody answered. Uh, did you uh, did you not murder that guy in a drugstore? Get that phone up, break your arm. 
I'm going to ask you once more. Did you commit that killing? I ain't talking. It ain't legal. That's funny. I could have swore somebody answered that phone. Rattler, maybe you're right. About what? About Dorothy. I think you and me had better pay her a little visit. And now you're talking. And I hope for her sake she won't be too much surprised. And that goes for Nobby, too. You kids will be sorry for this. Don't oh, worry your pretty little head about it. I ain't worrying. I... Oh, you mean... I know what you are. You're a premeditated killer. Yeah, I never killed nobody. I'm a bank robber. Bank robber? Well, of course, that ain't so bad. You're Thank gonna you. hang by the neck until dead. I don't hang around no place. Why don't you confess and save all this confusion? There's no confusion in confessing. I know my rights. I'm an American citizen. Did you ever vote? No. Who's running? If you didn't vote, you're not an American. You're a man without a country. I am, too. I live in Brooklyn. Well, that's the same thing. Hey, what do you think about the Dodgers dropping a series? Wasn't it tough that Owens Ooh. dropped a series? You are talking about a general. a different game. story than a one that... Oh, it's talking about baseball. Hey, what time is it? It's quarter to six. Don't tell me you can read the time. Well, yeah, for a year now. I'll... Hey, Glimpy, grab that phone. Call up Bonds. He'll be in his office by now. Tell him we got one of the guys that committed the drugstore murder. I didn't do it. It was... Shut up, you fool. Shut up, you fool. Oh, you No, I'm sorry. We have nothing new to report. The boys are still missing. No, we haven't sent out a general alarm. I don't believe it's quite that serious. Well, I expect to contact them within the next 24 hours. Yes, I'll call you just as soon as I do. Between Bill and the kids, things are in a pretty bad mess. Uh, more reporters. I'll tell them you're not in. Oh, never mind. I'll talk to them. They'll call every five minutes if I don't. Hello? Barnes? Warden of the Wilton Reform School? It's the boys. Well, where are you? What are you doing? You're sure of that now? Call the apartments, eh? You stay right there and we'll be right over. And call the police and have them go to the Carlton Apartments. Tell them I'll meet them there and everything will be all right. Now, don't you worry. Operator, police headquarters, please. My better go to the chair. I'm going to let you have it. Don't let them scare you, Nobby. I ain't scared. They ain't got nothing on me. Pretty soon now, you can kiss Dorothy goodbye. Why? Where am I going? You're not going nowhere. You're staying right here until the undertaker comes for you. No. No, I ain't. Gee. In 20 more minutes, he'll be going to the chair. 19. You feel better? Yeah. Now I can face it. I guess you can. 18. No. No. 25 more minutes. Cut it out, will you? It ain't funny anymore. Take it easy, kid. Everything's gonna be all right. Why don't you do something? They're only kids. <laughs> He's got a gun. It's loaded. I know I loaded it myself. I thought you were the kind of man I could go for. What's Luke got that I ain't got? Brains. That ain't nice. I wonder what Luke would do if he was in my spot. Oh, shut up. I can fix that. Look. Get the kid's gun. Now, Nobby, what were you saying about your spot? Nothing, boss. Nothing. Look, I got the door for you. Look, here it is. New rags, huh? Why, Dorothy, you look beautiful. My cute little double crosser. No, no, don't hit a boss. Why don't you pick on somebody inside, Jumbo? All right, now that you asked for it. Come on, get him up. So you didn't drown after all, eh? Well, that's too bad. Mr. Barnes, my brother. Where's the phone? Here it is. Hello. Hello, operator. This is Jim Barnes of the Wilton School for Boys. Give me Governor Walker. Hurry, please. It's a matter of life and death. You'll be mighty proud of your brother before we get through with him. Uh, by the way, we just got in eight carloads of potatoes. Uh-oh. Well, what's he got to do with potatoes? He'll be inspecting them with a paring knife. 
That is, when he's not washing pots, pans, or dishes. Yeah, but I won't mind. No, darling. It'll be good practice. Excuse me, Sergeant, but can you tell me where they peel the potatoes? Report in the commissary. Okay. Hey, Sergeant, what kind of food you got in the guardhouse? Why, are you expecting to get in there? I'm afraid so, but I don't think I'll mind the food. It's good. I'll fix it up for you. Goodbye, Miss Mitchell. Goodbye. Oh, now, don't do anything, please. I mean... Don't worry, honey. Oh, be careful. Bye-bye. Bye. So long, gang. Come on. Let's go. All right. Take it easy, Ethel Point. I'm going to call it Ethel for short. Yes, don't. 